everyone, it's April here and welcome back to a new art video. It looks like we're jumping straight into Pinterest right now. I'm going to be drawing some little guinea pigs tonight. So I am just showing you my Pinterest board here, which is called Guinea Pigs and Friends. And I've got a whole bunch of like guinea pigs, gerbils, hamsters, rats, mice on it. So that is what I am going to be sketching. And this video is going to be a uh, look behind the process of my Procreate like drawings that I've been putting on Instagram for the last couple of months, I think, weeks. So if you uh, didn't know, I am doing a little like challenge, personal challenge this year, where I'm going to be using every single Procreate like painting brush uh, to make a new image with. So it's going to be one drawing per brush, if that makes sense. And so for the first set of brushes, sketching, I did cats and that was super fun. And then I'm now moving on to the inking set and decided that I would do guinea pigs and rats and mice and like all little kind of little pets that you can get. So I'm just doodling some guinea pigs. So what I like to do is um, I like to draw my sketchbook because although I really love the iPad, I do find it's very, very awkward for sketching on. If you guys have an iPad, uh, let me know if you also have this issue. I love doing like final work and even kind of sketchy doodles, but I always need to have a base. Otherwise I just get a little bit lost. And I don't know what it is about the sketching on the iPad. I just prefer using my sketchbook for the initial drawings. So these are some that I've been doing. Um, I did these last week and I have never drawn guinea pigs before. It was very, very difficult when I started and it was still difficult at the weekend when I did this video. And I've done these two little guinea pigs as um, Procreate Doodle that you might have seen on Instagram. And then starting at the weekend, this is what I've, I did off camera. So I did this whole page and there's some cute little ones on this page, I think. I kind of wish I filmed that page actually, cause that one, I think that one turned out pretty good. Although looking back, this one's not too bad either. Uh, little party ones at the top there are pretty funny. Alright, so now I'm just kind of saying which ones I want to make into doodles and I was only going to do maybe three guinea pigs but I quite like a lot of the ones that I drew at the weekend, especially this little jumping guinea pig. So I probably, I'm probably going to do about six or eight now, which is fine because I think there's like 19 um, ink brushes in the, in the Procreate set. And then to make things easy, I just take a photo on my iPad of all the little sketches that I want and take that straight into Procreate. So this is like my every Procreate brush folder and I use the same size, which is 4096 by 4096, which is quite big, but I don't use that many layers and I always think it's good to start like bigger because you can always scale down. And I'm also, I did point out the colors that I'm using there which is like based off my gouache, or my acrylic gouache. I made a color palette based off of those. And so I'm just kind of, I might change it up like in a couple of months, halfway through the year, I'm not sure. But for right now, I'm really enjoying using this color set. So I'm just kind of like going with that. And then I copy and paste just like the little guinea pig, um, size it up to what size I think is best. And then what I have been doing with these Procreate, like every Procreate brush doodles, is just kind of doing a little test, like kind of getting a feel for the paintbrush or the sketching brush, whatever it is. So this here, this brush is Pandani. I think that's how you say it, Pandani. And it's actually really nice after using the previous one, Inca. This one has a lot more kind of like a paintbrush feel to it. It's quite um, transparent, so you can build up lots of layers and it smudges like quite well into each other. So I just had a little play with the colors and now I'm kind of getting a feel of the brush. And this one's really nice because it uses the pressure sensitivity. Like obviously you can change all of this in the brush settings, but I'm just using straight up default brush settings just to make things easier. And I'm actually going to be moving out of this view and straight into the screen view because you can probably see at the top there, there's a big like crack at the top and I didn't think that would be very nice to look at. So we're going to pop straight into the Procreate screen and I've just sped it up a little bit and I've cut quite a bit out. Altogether, this sketch from start to finish, taking it into Procreate, took me one hour and 18 minutes. And I know it took me one hour and 18 minutes because I started it when I started watching Clueless on Netflix and then... Um, I paused and I'd gotten an hour and 18 minutes through the film 
where she's just at the point when she realizes she's in love with Josh. Spoiler alert, but it has been out since 1995. As far as the drawing goes, it's pretty simple. You can probably see what I'm doing, but I'll just kind of like let you know. So what I like to do with all the drawings is do an outline first. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I use line art a lot. I do have a very, very few pictures where I don't use line art, but line art is like where I'm the most comfortable with and I find it hides a lot of like mistakes and you know, problems in the drawing. So I do eventually want to try and get away from using line art, but I don't know, like why should I? Maybe I don't want to get away, I'm not sure. So we got some base colors down and I did go through a, different, a few different color combinations before I came up with like this green mint kind of color. And then I started using the paintbrush. I started using the ink brush to kind of put in the shadow, but I really loved the effect it had of like showing the lines of the hair. So I just used that all the way throughout. And then um, in a second, I'll go through and I'll put the shadow layer on. So this is like the technique I use. I do the uh, line art, the base colors, then any kind of like extra colors and then I'll do the shadow. So right now I'm putting the shadow on and the shadow can be any color really. I normally I start with kind of like this purple or a blue and then I'll go through all the different layers and I'll go through all the different layer blends, which I think I'm gonna do now. So I go through all the different layer blends, try and find one I like. Sometimes I change up the color of the shadow. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. In this case, I actually don't even end up using this as a shadow layer because as I go through all the different blended modes, I come across this one, which is like this super awesome fluorescent green. And I loved it so much that I kept it like that. And you can kind of see I put in another layer of shadow. And then any finishing touches and then tweak the colors, which is, you gotta do it, right? If it's digital, you can't just leave it as it is. So sometimes I put like a little shadow behind or I outline it in white. Uh, I don't know, it just depends on how I feel. And then what I'm doing right now is I'm putting a solid color above and I'm going through the blending modes and it kind of just changes the color very slightly and makes it um, just look different. So that's something to try. That was just a really, really quick look at my Procreate Doodle of the little guinea pig. It's not actually even out yet. I'm posting it tomorrow. So you guys got a sneak peek. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little video and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.